So here lately I've been getting tired of eating fast food all the time. So I picked up this uh, 12 volt frying pan and about to make me some breakfast and see how it works. But got the pan, a little lid, so stuff doesn't pop on you. I'm about to make some bacon and eggs. You got your plug in. You have a few inline fuse in case you blow it. But about to see how this thing does. So, got me some bacon going. Uh, I just put it in there. I didn't even let it heat up. It's been a couple of minutes. Uh, starting to sizzle a little bit. Probably should have let it heat up, but I was in a hurry. I'm hungry. But some uh, just great value, thick slice of bacon. Went ahead and cut it in half so that it fit in the pan. Put the lid on so it doesn't pop everywhere and so it heat up a little bit quicker. It's starting to sizzle slowly. I know the inside of my cab's gonna smell good. I got that and then got some eggs. Make some fried eggs after I finish and then got me some jalapenos and make me a little sandwich. On my plate with my paper towel soak up some of that extra grease and didn't have a good knife so had to use my pocket knife well pocket blade comes in handy nice and sharp so I was uh, trying to do a review on that 8 inch skillet that I had picked up from the truck stop finally you know because I wanted me some bacon and eggs and I just had to quit doing the review after I showed y'all because uh, it ended up taking me an hour and a half to get me six pieces of bacon cooked and four eggs to fry. Now, I understand it's going to take a little bit longer because it was 12 volt, but if you ask me, that is just ridiculous. So whenever I am headed home in July, uh, I'm definitely going to be looking at getting me you know, a plug-in skillet or something something different other than that because i tell you what i am not going to be waiting an hour and a half to cook me a half-assed breakfast all right like the bacon couldn't even get it crispy like it was just cooked enough so that i could throw it on a bun to make me a sandwich and so i sat there and cooked the bacon and now this is actually just three pieces of bacon that i cut in half to make two pieces each you know because it's too big for the skillet took me about an hour for that and about 30 minutes to get the eggs cooked ended up breaking all but one of the yolks because whenever I went to go flip them you know it was just so under it wasn't cooking right and so pretty much had to break the yolks just to get it to cook and the other one that I had where the yolk was still together I had to just let it sit there and cook for a while so anyways definitely do not recommend that you get this eight inch skillet from a truck stop save your money buy something from amazon that you know where you can either control the heat maybe a bigger one that works you know off a of 12 volt you can control the heat or just get you like a you know a plug-in griddle to plug into your inverter definitely this skillet is not the answer i'm gonna give it another try and if it's any better then i'll uh you know update the video delete this one and make a new one something but yeah i do not recommend that it's 34 dollars that i feel was a total waste of money as far as cooking for on the truck uh it does cook it eventually but do you want to spend you know about an hour and a half two hours of your 10 hour break or whenever it is to uh cook you a meal that's the real question for me, not so much. You know, I can understand if it took a little bit longer, but I'm not trying to spend an hour and a half for something that at home I could cook up and have ready in 10, 15 minutes. So anyways, that's my review on the skillet. Sorry, I didn't get any more video or pictures of it. It was really just getting frustrating as hell. But uh, until next time, y'all keep safe and keep trucking.